What's up, people? I'm back. Back with the opinion spot. Uh, just like as promised. And, um, here to bring you a fight. Now, this is all to all my fellas out there. Strap in. Get yourself a cheese sandwich. And, uh, go to the bathroom, I should say. Because, uh, this fight is between two lovely, lovely ladies of the comic book nation and uh gotta show respect to the ladies but uh this is gonna be one heck of a ride and uh this battle is between Cal Danvers Miss Marvel and Princess Corona aka Starfire I like them huh <laughs> Like I said, these are two lovely ladies, very attractive, very curvy in all the right places. Uh, and this could be a bit of a distraction for the fellas. But got to show love to the ladies as well. So uh, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, I think I'll start off with the royalty, shall we? Let's start off with royalty. All right, we'll start off with royalty, and that's Starfire. She is a uh, Tamaranian, a uh, princess of uh, princess of Tamara. Uh, you know, and uh, unfortunately, no, her the planet has was destroyed. And uh, she makes her home now with the Titans in the DC Universe. And uh, Koran, uh, I, I like using her, her her superhero name Starfire, so forgive me for not calling her by her real name. But she's a powerhouse. She is absolutely a powerhouse. Um, anybody that says she's not, I don't know what you're smoking because this girl can give it as well as she can take it she can take a punch and she can give a punch she's a very she's very much a powerhouse of the DC universe uh, yes she's had romantic involvement with Dick Grayson and you gotta say way to go Dick with that you know <laughs> very much but she's damn sure a powerhouse no doubt about it um, she is able she has the famous star bolts she usually attacks with um, she possesses superhuman strength uh, for someone with her her pinup girl looks you know what I'm saying uh, she could easily outmuscle her fellow uh, Titan teammates like cyborg uh, and when she's uh, let's put it like this: When she's angered, very angry, um, Starfire has been able to uh go into like a berserker state, which grants her even more strength, more invulnerability, and immunity to many forms of damage. So she can heal from everything very fast. Um. She, she's able to like learn new languages just by physical contact in terms of kissing and she learned English by kissing Robin when she first came to earth to the DC earth that's how she learned how to speak English which is very very cool um, uh, she's able to fly of course you know fly you know uh, hand-to-hand -hand combat is very well she's very good in hand-to-hand -hand combat and when she's going into battle with her and her her sister uh, black blackfire it's it's all out it's all out war you better believe it you know it's all out war and like I said she can dish it out and she can take it she can absorb uh, uh, ultraviolet radiation that can be conscient converted into energy into her like her star bolts you know um it is said you know it is said that she does not need uh oxygen to breathe 
um, so basically, you know, she is further than a human in terms of that. But, you know, she has shown signs of that she doesn't need air to breathe in certain part, in certain times I've seen. But Starfire is one of those powerhouses. Um, you, you cannot deny that. Uh, I'll even put very intelligent, yeah, she is very intelligent. But I'll even put one of her superpowers, she's a very attractive female, but mostly every female, either you're a heroine or not, are attractive, so you can't say that, and I say almost, I didn't say every, but Starfire is one of those, one of those great heroines of the DC Universe, so moving on, moving on, people, moving on, we go to the Marvel Universe, where Marvel Universe has a whole slew of very powerful strong female characters and they don't get no better than I can't call her the blonde bombshell because that's already been used but yes she is a blonde and that's Ms. Marvel Carol Danvers uh, Ms. Marvel uh, binary warbird her names have changed over the years but Carol Danvers is one of those very powerful very 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 likable female heroes you have to like she's an Avenger um, she's been a team leader of the Avengers you know and uh, let's put it like this military trained uh, has she, she so she's up there in battling skills you know um, even though her power levels are not what they are when she was at her binary powers because let's face it, when she was at her binary powers, she was off the chart. You could put her up there, uh, strengths like with Nova and many of former uh, heralds of Galactus. You know, and that's thanks to the testing of the brood. But when people look at Ms. Marvel, some people might say, I don't know too much about Ms. Marvel, but... I do know her because of Rogue. That's right. Many people will say Rogue got me because of Rogue. Because of what when Rogue stole her powers, that's when I was really more interested in Ms. Marvel. I said, let me check out who Ms. Marvel is. You know, but Ms. Marvel is another one that has she is capable of lifting about 75 tons, and that's when she's at Ms. Marvel state, but like I said, when she's at her binary, she can lift over that. Um, but she's still at Ms. Marvel. She's able to fly at about, I think about, let's say about Mach 3 speeds. And she's able to, and that's, and she's able to uh, make flight maneuvers complex because of her, her military training. Um, she's able to absorb energy blasts just like, you know, uh, just like Starfire, so these two are very much alike, power-wise. You know, her power instead of Starbolt, she throws out photon blasts that are kind of similar to uh, repulsa rays of Iron Man. Um, you know, she, like I said, she's a good fighter, and uh, at times of stress. She has been able to tap into those binary powers, and that's and that's Beast. Beast has diagnosed that when she's under stress, when she's under stress in a fight or so, she's able to tap into her, her binary powers. Um, but Ms. Marvel is Carol is definitely up there, you know, definitely definitely up there. She's able to transform into Ms. Marvel like Superman is to. Clark Kent is to transform into Superman like that. You know what I'm saying? Very quickly. But she, she she's a formidable uh, opponent for, for, in my book, for uh, Starfire. Um, Carol has played a big role in many, uh, many events in the Marvel Universe. She played a big role in the Secret Invasion. She took on perhaps a lot of the uh, Super Scrolls that attacked uh, New York during the secret invasion you know but these two are very alike very much alike these two would definitely duke it out 
I see them duking it out fist hand to hand instead of using their photon blasts or their star bolts because each both of them could could uh, basically go into uh, easily can uh, absorb each other's blast but like I said in key terms the stress for Ms. Marvel and she would revert to her binary and Starfire getting angrier and reverting into her berserk berserker state those are key states right there that would say you know what could what could happen between these but I do see these guys going into a tie that's my thoughts but you tell me what you think about this